Man, when Kevin Samuel was alive, man, women persecuted him. You know, they would call into his show knowing how he conducted himself, knowing what he stood for. And then they would try to shame him, get argumentative on his show when he was, but he was trying to get them to see themselves for as they truly are and why they're in the boat that they are. Man, it's funny how the tables have turned and now we have all of these female content creators that are jumping on board with the message that he left off. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I'll tell you this. In the word it says, you will be persecuted for my name's sake. The Most High Yah tells us his word is the truth. The law is the truth. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and thy law is the truth. As Messiah went around, as the prophets, as the disciples went around, you know, they were constantly facing persecution for not only speaking truth, but living in truth. Man, women were the biggest enemies of truth, and a lot of them still are, but we're seeing a shift. You know, at one point it was male content creators like Kevin Samuels talking about the issues that they have with women and why, you know, women, you know, weren't finding success and, you know, the challenges men were having with these women, not knowing that this man was, was behind the scenes, you know, helping people to actually find what they were looking for and had the receipts and proof to push it. But that's not what got publicized. So we would see these women constantly expose themselves on his show because they would call in, ask for his advice, and then tell him that his advice was wrong when they were the ones in need of relations, in need of a man. They weren't calling in because they didn't need no man. They was calling in because they desired a man, but he was trying to show them that you got some issues that if you don't correct, you're not gonna have it. Some women very rarely would take what he was saying, no matter, uh, you know, they wouldn't act as the tone police and I don't like the tone and, you know, they would take his advice and move with it. But that was, that was a remnant of women. Fast forward to 2024, we got more women creating content that have stepped away from the sisterhood and you know what they're doing? Their soul channel is pretty much talking about the hypocrisy of women and how double-minded and reprobate and rebellious women are. You know, when these women are, are getting divorced and playing victim, you got a group of content creators now that have picked up where Kevin Samuels left off and said, these women ain't no victims. These, this man was holding you to a standard and you lashed out when he was holding you accountable. We're seeing this more than ever. I post a lot of content uh, and oftentimes I don't even do commentary. I just repost it so you can see what I'm saying. But at one point, women were not hearing anything that came from a man. It was, these men don't know what they're talking about. These men got emotional problems. And now you see more women jumping on the bandwagon saying, you know what? If I want, if I want a man, if I want a man, I'm gonna have to go against the grain because what the sisterhood or the women are, are teaching and, and passing is trying to normalize ain't working. Ain't working. Man, shout out, uh, you know, to uh, Straightway Help Me. I always try to push sisters over there to check that out, Straightway Help Me, so you can see a remnant of women not operating as these worldly women operate. So I always support them. Shout out to 
uh, the Crimson Cure. You know, the Crimson Cure is a widow. So she had a husband, is trying to kick game to the women, and I, I, I'm pretty sure she has remarried. So this is a woman that is that has figured it out, where a lot of these women can't figure it out, because the answers the answers have been there the whole time, but you rebel against truth. Shout out to uh, River TV, you know, uh, coming forth and 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 actually talking about the hypocrisy trying to educate those who have an ear to hear. The word says, those that have an ear to hear, let them hear. The most of y'all says, if you turn your ear away from hearing his laws, even your prayers is an abomination. You might be one of these women praying for a man, but your prayers is an abomination because you reject truth. You reject truth. So yeah, man, you're, you're seeing women like just pearly things. She was talking about the hypocrisy of women constantly and the tables have turned closer to y'all ministries kicking that thing gun barrel straight 